Hello guys, it's Hunter Knight. Welcome to another toy downgrade, this time with the DC Comics Multiverse Suicide Squad Harley Quinn by... Yeah, you know who. Mattel. Toy downgrade. Figures that bomb. Badly. Thanks for tuning in. I should have made this review a long time ago, but uh, you know, I've been busy with a lot of custom action figure work. So let's take a look at this atrocity here. As we've seen in this line before, this is a Comics Multiverse on top, Suicide Squad logo here, Harley Quinn on the window part of the packaging, a nice picture of, yeah, Michael Robbie. This is how it should be, not like that. Harley Quinn here, multiple languages, same picture here on the side. So that's one Harley Quinn. And on the back, you can see all the figures in this way that you will need to build this version of Croc anyway. Mattel is doing a terrible job of letting the people know that they're making two versions of Killer Croc. This is the regular wave, and this is a regular Killer Croc. There is a Toys R Us exclusive wave that you can mix with this to build a different Croc. This is the Toys R Us Harley Quinn, and as you can see, there's different types of figures that you will require to build a different Croc. This is... This croc is much more movie accurate, but this is the one that comes with the Toys R Us exclusive, which I will review maybe later somewhere, or maybe never, because this thing is atrocious. <laughs> there is no bio, so there is no readout. Alright, so let's open this atrocity up and find out what the fuzz is all about. <laughs> and there you go, there is this crime against humanity. Oh my god, I don't know how Mattel can call this a figure. Let's, let's, let's take a look. First of all, look at this... This disfiguration this atrocity this is supposed to be Margot Robbie yeah not 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 even close no this is not how you do Margot Robbie what what is wrong with you Mattel now well her ponytails are flexible they have this fading on the tips which is good I guess you have the uh, rotten tattoo on the sides with on one cheek uh, the the head moves yeah side to side it doesn't move up and down because she has a pudding choker there with the letters pudding painted on instead of being sculpted. The torso is where the problems for this figure begin. The torso aesthetics are disastrous. This is not Michael Robbie's physique. This just looks atrocious. And with the white shoulders, it's a big no-no. As you can see, the paint applications are clear. They sculpted these wrinkles, which in, in this case, they don't help at all with the figure, with the, with the aesthetics of the figure. She has an app crunch, but this app crunch is technically useless because it only works ugh, backwards, but it doesn't really, really work forward. It's just, why would you do this? Why would you give her an app crunch that doesn't really work? She has a waist articulation here. These tears on the skull don't help at all with the look. I mean, how come this is going against the freaking gravity? This is to make her look sexy, but nah, it's not working. Articulation here is also a mess. They gave her articulation here and articulation here. Like, this is pointless. Giving two parallel cuts here and here is just stupid because it just doesn't doesn't help at all. They should have just spent the two lean dollars on a, on a double jointed elbow. But hey, it's Mattel. Her bracelet is not glued, so it can be moved. They sculpted all the rings on her hand, on the other arm. It's the same thing with the articulation. The bracelet is not glued, the glove has a streak here, and it has a wrist cut. The strap on her back is uh, glued, the guns are sculpted, they are not removable. And it's a funny thing, it's this, it, it, they painted this thing instead of making it a hole. Uh, just lazy tool in here. Yeah, look at this disaster. And this is not the way you have, you, you're supposed to tool a figure like this, it's just... Uh, Terrible, terrible choice of tooling. Okay, the articulation here on the legs is good. The fishnets are sculpted in. This is done. This is not done manually. This is actually done with a computer program. The tattoos on her. I mean, yeah, these tattoos were supposed to be made by her. So that's why they're looking on this way. They're okay. They're okay. This is a bunch of amazing knee articulation, almost 90 degree angle. You can also see here problems with the mold. You can see the cut from the mold here, which is unsightly. Serial numbers, why not? Hey, she likes numbers. What the hell? Why? Why don't? Yeah, go, go, put them in, put them in. And well, there you can see the Adidas boots by Jeremy Scott from his 2014 collection. 
these boots were expensive by the way and yeah they're, they're there they're there obviously they don't have the adidas logos because you have to pay royalties for that but it's okay it's understandable the articulation here is wasted because she can barely move this thing up and down yeah nah nah don't, don't even try bro don't even try just just yes <laughs> accessories she comes with her bat the bat says good night oh it's missing a ton of things here it's supposed to have more and more and more writings and inscriptions but uh, okay it's a mattel toy it is actually a bit on the long side for her she grabs it okay i guess yeah she also comes with the left leg for Killer Croc. This Disney Multiverse Harley Quinn figure is the latest atrocity in Mattel's handling of the DC Films property. This figure is a disgrace, an insult to modern toy making techniques and an abomination to all things holy in the toy industry. There are far better options out there. Sure, they're expensive, but when you factor in the cost of this Harley, the Amazon exclusive Harley, and the Toys R Us exclusive Harley, you have already spent like $60 plus taxes and shipping in three mediocre figures. For that price, you could have gotten the Mayfix one or the stunningly beautiful SH Figures one, which are far better options than this eye rape. Now, most people would justify this crime by saying, oh, but it's a $20 figure, so don't expect the blah blah blah. Well, let me tell you, sculpture doesn't have to be this bad on a $20 figure. Remember the Dark Knight Rises figures? Sure, they were not hot toys but the sculpts were far better than this plastic two more here. The most expensive parts of producing a figure are the tooling, otherwise known as articulation, and the paint job. Sculpture, although a factor, lies in charge of either the art director or an independent sculptor like, say, Jin Sun Jin, the Four Horsemen, or Irene Matar, just to name a few. These are called vendors in the toy industry. Now, do you think they charge Mattel in the basis of accuracy? Oh, if you want a Frankenhooker Harley Quinn lookalike, we will charge you this much. But if you want a decent looking one, the price is double that. No, it doesn't happen like that. Can you imagine the horsemen saying that? Which, by the way, I have confirmed they did not work on any of the Mattel Suicide Squad figures. Artists charge based on their own rates and quality of work. This Harley is a result of a rush Mattel in-house art director, crappy 3D sculpting techniques and tooling, the rush to get the prototypes out to the factories, and the taste of a 5-year-old high on too much sugar. Take my example this Yoda I painted. The head is a cast of a lollipop candy top. This one looks 100 times better than the Black Series one, and the lollipop costs just 3 bucks. You think the sculptor here charged them by looks? No, they just chose a good sculptor with abilities that surpassed those of some toy companies who cared for what he was doing. Of course, it's all a matter of purpose. So if your purpose is to give this figure to a child, it's perfectly justified. Although if it starts peeing the bed in the middle of the night, don't say it didn't warn you. Alright, I think I crapped on the figure enough. If you want a far better Harley Quinn, avoid this crime against humanity and check the list of links I compiled in the description. Thanks for watching my review. Let me know what you think about this figure. Was I too hard? Was I too soft? You don't care. This under night signing out. Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy Up of Culture feed for the latest toy news. Thank you. Impressive. Impressive.